Hey guys, how's it going? Spinosaurus the King here. And man, oh man, do we have huge news and spoilers on Jurassic World Dominion today or what? So I recently saw a video by a YouTube channel named Darth Mosasaur, and he goes over some new leaked details on Jurassic World Dominion's plot. He also says he got the plot details off Jurassic World Dominion from 4chan after hearing the plot details, I gotta say, if this turns out to be true, in my opinion, Jurassic World Dominion will be by far, by far, the best movie ever made. And not only the Jurassic Park franchise, but the entire movie history franchise of all time. Anyways, guys, if you don't want Jurassic World Dominion to be spoiled for you, then I recommend leaving this video as these plot details may turn out to be 100% confirmed for this movie due to everything we've gotten this seems like this actually will turn out to be confirmed so anyways last warning if you don't if you don't wish to have Jurassic World Dominion spoiled for you leave this video right now and also I'll put the link to the I'll put um what's his name again Darth Mosasaurus's YouTube link in the description below go check out his original video make sure you subscribe to him he seems like a really cool guy I just I just came across him today all right, guys, so I'm going to count to 10 before I actually go into the full on spoilers for Jurassic World Dominion's uh, plot. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. All right, you guys have all been warned. I'm going into spoilers. This is probably going to turn out to be true. So according to a post on a a website called 4chat, the opening scene of Jurassic World Dominion will be when Dr. Alan Grant and the Kirbys and Billy Brennan leave Isla Sorna on the helicopter and arrive back to the mainland in 2001. And as soon as they arrive, arrive back, Dr. Alan Grant wishes the Kirbys all the best and Billy Brennan is taken to the hospital to get, you know, taken care of after his severe injury with the Tyranons attacking him. And soon after that, Dr. Alan Grant meets Dr. Ian Malcolm that later that evening at a bar. And Dr. Alan Grant tells Dr. Ian Malcolm what happened on Isla Sorna, like what happened to him on Isla Sorna, mainly talking about the new species that were not on Injun's list, discussing mainly about how deadly the Spinosaurus was. And Dr. Ian Malcolm doesn't recognize the Spinosaurus since he wasn't, since he was like, you know, on the island before Injun made the Spinosaurus. And the in he was actually on the island in 1997 and the Spinosaurus was illegally made by Dr. Henry Wu by refusing baryonyx DNA and Spinosaurus DNA in 1999, making him an absolute monster when fully grown, since he wasn't fully grown in JB3. Anyways, for the next plot details on Jurassic World Dominion, are the main villain in this film besides Henry Wu, it's actually like, okay, the main villain in this film besides Henry Wu and Louis Stockson, it's actually going to be a Owen Grady's father, who is Clint, and he's gonna be the main boss of Injun, and he will be the main human villain too. In this movie, his plan is to actually wipe out humanity and have only dinosaurs left, plus plus his Injun team alive. So, he, and he's also on the hunt for, um, he wants to kill his son Owen and Claire, and Maisie as well. Owen and Claire are married in this film while they adopt Maisie. I gotta say, this will be very awesome for the main villain as well, since we've never seen Owen Grady's dad before. It will be very interesting. Another spoiler is that Owen and Claire and Maisie travel the world to hide from Injun and Biosyn, and this explains why they're traveling all throughout the world to basically hide from Injun and Biosyn since they're trying to kill them. So that's that's why they probably end up at Malta and all the other places. And Isla Sorna will Isla Sorna. Okay, this is a huge spoiler right here. So if I were you, I'd leave now. <laughs> Isla Sorna will actually have a pretty decent role in this movie. It will have roughly about altogether. It will have roughly around twenty to twenty-five minutes of screen time. So it won't have a huge role in this movie due to the movie mainly taking place on the mainland with dinosaurs all over the world in the mainland. But Isla Sorna still have a will have a really big role. In, will still have a not a big it will still have a decent role in this movie clint henry and lewis are the and the soldiers all go to isla sorna and the reason why they go to isla sorna is to release a new dinosaur that they made which is apparently the giganotosaurus and while they're on isla sorna they will be seeing the the spinosaurus from jurassic park 3 and he's going to return as a fully grown monster more powerful than the indominus rex 20 tons 18 meters long 10 meters tall at the top of the sail an absolute monster since he's mixed with baryonyx DNA. 
I have a feeling we will see the Spinosaurus fighting the Giganotosaurus in this film, because I apparently the Giganotosaurus is going to be the new dinosaur that's in this film, according to Jurassic World fandom. This is not coming from Darth Maul'sor. This is coming from Jurassic World fandom with the Giganotosaurus. Henry and Clint and Lewis are also confirmed to die off in this film. How they will die off, it's unknown. But I have a feeling that the Spinosaurus will kill Henry Wu. And I also, because, you know, this he abandoned the Spinosaurus and he probably abused him. And he's also, he calls him a mistake left behind on Isla Sona and the email he wrote to Simon Masrani in 2003. And I also, I feel that Lewis Dachshund's going to die by the Dilophosaurus to kind of call back to the first movie. And Clint, I have a feeling that Clint's going to either die to Owen Grady killing him or possibly die to Blue. I think Blue would be the best death to uh, Clint. Um, dinosaurs are all over the world chasing people in cities in this movie. And there will be seen, there actually will be seen, apparently we're, we're going to be seeing dinosaurs with guns on their back. And I have a feeling this won't be biased in the word engine since we've never really seen them do this in the previous films. Because this was talked about for even Jura the, the, the Jurassic World uh, sequel. Or, or Jurassic World. So I feel like the dinosaur company that will be doing this is actually gonna be Manticore, that company that Sammy worked for in uh, Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous. I feel like that's gonna be the company that's gonna be doing this. And I feel like the, what, what's gonna be happening is Manticore is gonna be ending up cloning dinosaurs and putting guns on their back to possibly kill off Engine and Biosyn since Engine and Biosyn are evil. Maybe Manticore is the good company trying to end them off. Or just maybe it's not a good company. Maybe they just want to take control of dinosaurs. They don't want it. If I was an engine doing it anymore. This will be very cool to see. I just hope if we see the Spinosaurus, he's the size that would make sense since he is a hybrid of Baryon and Spinosaurus, which would make him bigger than the real life Spinosaurus. And not like he's already, like in Jurassic Park 3, he's already bigger in height and weight, but he's not bigger in length. So I think that they should make him just a little bit more bigger in height. And a little, a little bit more bigger in weight, like maybe 15, 20 tons, and make him roughly about 18 meters long to make it accurate. Because, like, when you combine the Spinosaurus and Baryonyx, it's going to be big and very powerful. That's for sure. Anyways, I really hope they don't kill off my favorite dinosaur, the Spinosaurus from Jurassic Park 3, because this, this was basically the moment I've been waiting for it. And like, I will lose all respect towards Colin Chavar if he actually if he actually kills off my favorite dinosaur. I have hope Colin Chavar, and I know a lot of other people hope, like, like I know a lot of other people love the Spinosaurus from Jurassic Park 3, even though it's modified, not real. It's just awesome, it's really badass. And if he kills it off, I'm gonna be crying in theaters and I'm gonna hate Colin Chavar's guts if he actually does this. Like, it's just a terrible decision. But anyways, the next thing, there will be awesome dinosaur battles in this film, and the final battle will actually not even be dinosaurs. It's gonna be a battle in Siberia, and it's gonna be a Smilodon fighting a woolly mammoth. And apparently a Megalosaurus will be another new dinosaur in this film as well, besides the Giganotosaurus, which is actually quite interesting. I mean, seeing the Ice Age animals in the Jurassic Park franchise, I have to be honest, this actually will be pretty cool because I, I really would love to see some live action Ice Age animals, and I think that for the final battle, having having a Smilodon fight, a Woolly Mammoth will actually be a really good fight. Personally, I think the Woolly Mammoth will win, but the Smilodon will definitely put up a good fight. That's for sure. But again, with the Spinosaurus, I hope I hope this if, if the Spinosaurus is actually hundred percent confirmed, like the Jurassic Park three Spinosaurus is hundred percent confirmed. I hope he's not going to die. I hope we'll see him fight and kill Gig the Giganotosaurus, and I hope he's going to be the size that I personally would like to see him in. So the ending of Jurassic World Dominion, well, all the villains will die. Like, you know, Louis Dawson's going to die, Henry Wu's going to die, and Clint's going to die, according to um, Forchide. And the original cast, plus Owen and Claire and Maisie, will all survive, and they will all coexist peacefully with dinosaurs. That's going to be the ending scene of Jurassic World Dominion. And the original cast will have a big role in this movie. However, do it has been said by Forchide that Dr. Ellie Sattler will have... Uh, the biggest role out of all the original characters in this film and she'll have most of the original lines that she had from Jurassic Park and possibly Jurassic Park 3 as well which is really cool I have to say Ellie Sather is by far my favorite my favorite female character in the franchise I think she's a lot more cooler and a lot more nicer than Claire Deering will ever be in my personal opinion and I have to say like this movie sounds from what from what we are from what we're told right now from like Jurassic World fandom Jurassic Fan 95 and Darth Mosasaurus and Clayton Fioriti and Colin Javara and like 
and just all these other rumors and your facts are waiting to be given. I really think Jurassic World Dominion is going to be a really good film. It sounds really good. I have to be honest, Fallen Kingdom and Jurassic World, I was really disappointed with both films. Mainly Jurassic World because it focuses too much on the mansion. It's once again a hybrid. The new dinosaurs don't get much screen time. It's focused on, you know, Rexy and Raptors again. And also speaking of Rexy, apparently Rexy in this film, she somehow got to Africa. How she got there, who knows, we don't know, but she somehow is in Africa now. But again, with Jurassic World, my disappointment is that it's a hybrid and it's focused on Raptors and T-Rex and, and we don't get to see any of the original cast in that film. The plot of Fallen Kingdom was not bad, actually. I think the plot was pretty cool and same with Jurassic World, I guess, but I still think they could have showed more of the original characters, better dinosaur fights, and maybe made the plot just a little bit better. Anyways, I'm just really happy Jurassic World Dominion will have no hybrids. Instead, it's going to have dinosaurs with guns in their back, which I actually think is a lot more cooler for a change since we had never seen that before, to be honest. Now, this movie, it, it has been said this, mo this movie won't be a full-on war movie, but there will be a couple war scenes with dinosaurs with, their, with guns on their back, which I'm actually kind of looking forward to seeing because this idea, this idea was explored with raptors in Jurassic World and possibly even Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, but it never made the big screen, unfortunately. So I guess it will be kind of cool to see this. And um, my prediction is that Manticore will be the company that has dinosaurs with guns on their back and they're gonna be fighting with um, InGen and Biosyn. Now, if the opening scene for Jurassic World Dominion actually is gonna be the scene that has been described by 4chat and Darth Maldasaur, I gotta say, this will by far be my favorite opening scene in the entire franchise, even more than the Jurassic World. Like my, my favorite opening right now in the Jurassic World franchise, the overall Jurassic Park franchise, my number one favorite opening scene is probably the Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. I think that opening scene was pretty sick, I gotta be honest. My second favorite is um, the one from Jurassic Park 3. My third favorite is the one from Jurassic Park, the first movie. So anyways, though, like I said, I would be. it would be really great to see a flashback for what happened to Alan Graham when he returns to the mainland and chats with Ian Malcolm about the new dinosaurs he saw in his little sauna and how the Kirby's tricked him and how you know, it was just a, a whole mess of what happened. It was really, really, really crazy. But they will be mainly discussed in Spinosaurus if this leaked plot is true. And I gotta say, this is really cool. This is really damn cool. This is freaking sick. I really hope this is true, man. I'm crossing my fingers. Because the plot, like this overall plot is just really cool. And I think this actually will end up to be true. Because think about it. Like really, just think about it logically. Hawaii is in fact a filming location in Jurassic World Dominion. And we know that it won't be, we know Isla Nublar and Isla Sorna were both filmed on that, on that, on that island. But at the same time, we can't see Isla Nublar in this film because that island has been destroyed. So, and also Colin Trevorrow teased Isla Sorna with that metal box that says Isla Sorna on it. So I think it's basically, I think what this guy is saying is 100% confirmed. I cross my fingers that it is because I've been waiting for my, I, I, I've been waiting for this moment for 20 years now. Like. I've been waiting to see the Spinosaurus from Jurassic Park 3 return as a fully grown adult monster badass. And also the return of my favorite character, Dr. Alan Grant. My actual favorite character is John Hammond, but since he's out of the picture now, sadly, my new favorite character is Dr. Alan Grant, 100%. And I'm also very excited to see the Mosasaurus return in this movie, as she is very epic and scary. And I'm hoping the Spinosaurus will be the one to kill Henry Wu, like I said earlier, and Dilophosaurus will kill... Lewis Dachshund, and I also want to see Blue the Velociraptor kill Clint. I think that would be great. And of course, the Ice Age thing, I'm going to be honest, that's pretty cool too with the Ice Age animals. But overall, I'm just super excited to see Jurassic World Dominion, man. Now, after hearing this news, this movie is going to be the best. Like, and this is true. And we're going to, like, we're going to be seeing a bunch of epic dinosaur fights, the Isla Sorna thing, the opening scene, the dinosaurs with guns in their back, the Ice Age animals, the original cast having a big role. If this is all turning out to be true, guys, I have to be honest here. It, I hate to say it too. This will be a better movie than Jurassic Park three, definitely. Which is my current, which is my current favorite Jurassic Park movie, right now. But once we see Jurassic World Dominion, I might change my mind. I think I will change my mind, man. This movie sounds great. So Colin Trevorrow, man, please don't disappoint us. I hope really, I really hope this is the plot you have planned for Jurassic World Dominion. It's really cool to see Ice Age animals and the return of the Spinosaurus and the original cast, and hopefully, we can even see an underwater fight in this movie with Mosasaurus and Predator X. And hopefully the Spinosaurus survives in this film as I, I, I want to see him kick some ass when he's all sort and survive. But anyways, guys, tell me, do you think this is the plot details are going to turn out to be true? Do you think it's fake? Do you want it to be true? Do you not want it to be true? 
Me personally, I do, but I'd love to hear your opinions on this in the comments down below. Jurassic World Dominion, here we come. Before I end this video, I'd like to thank my YouTube team, Patrick Kawan, my 2D animator, David Church, my director, BK Go Crazy, my Spino buddy, Zane Chiller, my first friend of Jurassic Park community on Instagram, Anthony Ellis, my drawer, Rafley Saragar, my comedian, and Sarthak Sharma, my best friend in real life. Also, one last thing, if you're interested in Spinosaurus the King merchandise and other offers I'm selling here is what I'm currently selling on my Patreon. A t-shirt with one logo of my merchandise is $40, and with two pictures, it's $50. A five minute YouTube discussion video a day on your choice is $15 a month. Two deleted scenes a month of previous animations is $10 a month. A cameo of your very own character getting eaten by a dinosaur of your choice and upcoming animations is $5 a month. And Chibis is $1 a month donation to support my content here on YouTube. If you're interested in buying any from, from me, the link to my Patreon will be in the description. All people who join my Patreon will receive a shout out at the end of every video I upload. Last one is custom Photoshop pictures that I make for your, either your thumbnails on YouTube or just for pictures you would like to use. I charge $5 for every picture. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on all notifications. So you're aware for my next video on YouTube. Leave a like, post a positive comment, rate and share my YouTube channel with all your friends and family. And please do the exact same for my YouTube team and have a great day, everyone.